What's up guys, it's Ritesh here back with another video and in this one we are going to take a look at the top 5 WhatsApp tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get started. So do you get a ton of useless images on your WhatsApp that are not worth keeping in your Android gallery? Here is a way you can remove them all at once. You need to download a third party file explorer of the Play Store called DS File Explorer. Open it, scroll to your SD card, open WhatsApp, Media, WhatsApp Images, Click here and tap on new. Select new file and name the file as .no media. That should stop any media in that folder from showing up in your gallery. Do you want to lock your WhatsApp so that others cannot view your messages? You can do this by simply installing this app called AppLock, which is free and allows you to place a pin lock on any application installed on your device. You can also have a fingerprint lock on WhatsApp if your device supports a fingerprint scanner. Links to all these apps is given down in the description of this video. Next, if you want to move your WhatsApp history over to a new device without using Google Drive, it's pretty simple. Insert the microSD card into the device that has WhatsApp on it. In WhatsApp, go to Settings, Chats, Chat Backup and make a backup. Remove the SD card and place it in your other device. Install WhatsApp on the other device. WhatsApp should detect the backup and prompt you to restore it. Fourth, did you know you can use your WhatsApp on desktop computer while you are working on a project in Google Chrome? To do this, just go to web.whatsapp.com in your internet browser. It should show a QR code, take your phone out and open WhatsApp. Tap on options and select WhatsApp web. Scan the QR code and it should automatically connect to your WhatsApp. Now you can send, receive messages, notifications etc. or directly on your computer. Talking about notifications while using the WhatsApp web version, you will get notifications only when the WhatsApp tab is open. What if you want to get prompted every single time you receive a message even when you are playing a game or maybe watching a movie while Chrome is shut down? For this, you have to ensure two things. In your WhatsApp web tab, click on options. Select notifications and make sure that desktop notifications are ticked. Second, go to the Chrome extension link given in the description. It will take you to an app download page called WA Toolkit. Install it and go back to WhatsApp web. Click on its logo right here and tick the background notifications option. This way you will receive WhatsApp notifications even when WhatsApp web or Google Chrome window is closed. Next is how to send private messages in bulk. For this open WhatsApp. Tap the options icon at the top right. Tap new broadcast. Enter and select all the contacts you want to send your private message to. Tap the create button, write your message and send it. This way you sent a group message without everyone in the group seeing who else received that message. Now let's talk privacy. Do you want to make sure that no stranger can see your profile picture or status by just having your phone number? If yes, you can simply make it private. For that, again go into options, settings, accounts, privacy. Go through the last scene, profile photo and status options. Then set their visibility to everyone, my contacts or nobody, depending on how much privacy you want. You can stop your contacts knowing if you have read their messages by hiding the blue text. It's easy to switch them off. Just bear in mind that this will mean that you won't get to see when contacts have read your messages either. In WhatsApp, tap the options button and tap settings. Open account, privacy, Untick the read receipts box and it's done. Next up we have mute annoying WhatsApp group chats. In WhatsApp tap the chats tab. Tap the group you want to mute. With the group open tap the options icon at the top right. Tap mute then select the amount of time you want to mute the group for. You can also untick the show notifications box so that you never hear from the group again until you decide otherwise. Create a quick access chat shortcut on your home screen. In WhatsApp, tap the Chats tab. Tap and hold the conversation you want to create a shortcut for. When the list of options appears, tap Add Conversation Shortcut. A shortcut displaying your contacts profile picture will now appear on your home screen. Tap on it to jump straight into the chat. Did you delete an important message? No worries, you can restore it if your scheduled backup hasn't executed yet. For this, you need to uninstall WhatsApp from your device. Reinstall WhatsApp. Type your phone number into WhatsApp, then it should notify you that it's found a backup of your chats. How to change your WhatsApp background This simple little trick allows you to change the default wallpaper in WhatsApp. 
In WhatsApp, tap the Options button and tap Settings. Tap Chats, Open Wallpaper, tap WhatsApp to download the WhatsApp Wallpaper Pack or Documents to view your own images. Select an image and tap Set Wallpaper. How to change the font of the chat messages? In WhatsApp, tap the Options button and tap Settings. Open Chats, Open Font Size, select your preferred font size. If you make it smaller, you can view more of the conversation without scrolling or make it bigger for easier reading. Star messages to quickly view them later. Received an important message? Don't have the time to read it completely right now? Just long press on it, then press the star icon at the top of the screen. When you want to view it again, you can just tap the options button at the top right of the WhatsApp window and press on start messages. Using Google Now to send WhatsApp messages. Now you can send WhatsApp messages easily without even touching your display. Assuming you have Google Now installed, just open it by saying OK Google. Then say send WhatsApp message to test contact. After that just dictate the message you want to send and say send once it asks for it. And yeah those were the top 15 tips and tricks for WhatsApp. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did then don't forget to like this video. Also do remember to subscribe to my channel to get notified about my future videos such as this one. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one.